So, when I tell people I work for Autism BC, it's getting to be really great because a lot of people come back and tell you information they know, tell you stories they know. But one of the things that we're finding time and time again is there's actually a lot of factually wrong information out there. The first thing being that autism is caused by a vaccination. Total myth, totally not true. So I'm not going to go through all of these today, but just a quick show of hands as we kind of work through it. Who thinks that individuals with autism tend to have a lower IQ than people who are neurotypical? Hands up if you think it's true. Okay, so yeah, another total myth. Not true at all. Autism is a spectrum disorder. So people who are super high functioning, people who are super low functioning. And I think one of the important things to know as well, this is a, a quote that always kind of rings true. One of the other things up there was about behavioral um, challenges and the sensory problems that can cause people. So everyone just clapped in this room right now. And one of the things we don't know is there could be someone with autism in this room now. And that tr could trigger something for them that really challenges their behavior. So just as a quick challenge at the end, we're going to see who remembers. Let's wave at the end rather than clap. No problem if you clap, but just something to consider. You know, to understand autism is obviously one of the big things we want the world to do going forward. And so that's just a start in making that happen. One of the first things I learned when I started working for an autism charity was when you've met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. Everyone's different, just like every neurotypical person is totally different. And it's something that I remember every single day. So why do I work for autism? Why I'm involved in the cause? Well, it's because I want to work for an organization that's going to have an impact on the world. Today, there's 56,000 people in British Columbia that have an autism diagnosis, and one in 68 children are today being diagnosed with autism. So you don't know the maths behind this, but there's actually only 11,000 children with autism in British Columbia, which means there's 45,000 adults in this province who has autism. Now, years and years ago, 25% of those adults used to be super high functioning. So they might be people who are working in the workplace, you know, people who are going about their everyday lives with struggles, but are overcoming them. As treatments and as therapies have got better, as early diagnosis and as autism awareness has got better, that shift has changed. So today there's actually 75% of people who are high functioning autistic adults. And the problem is the workplace, the world isn't ready for that. And so one of the reasons why I work for this charity is because I want to work for a day when autism and provision for autism is seen as the same as people in a wheelchair. If you're going for a job interview, you say, I'm in a wheelchair, I've got a cane, I'm blind, I'm hard of hearing. And there's provision and there's things put in place to support that. Just a few little, another stat, 77% of adults with autism are actually unemployed. And the cost of an unemployed adult per adult over their lifetime on the province is over 1.7 million. So imagine if we sort of took that shift got more adults employed, the shift and where funding goes would really, really start to change. Running through it. Autism BC, so we've been around 40 years and these are some of the key areas that we work in. And really one of the big things that we do is advocate for families and the reason why families today have autism funding is because of the work that our organisation was doing 40 years ago. So the types of volunteers we look for are people who want to work with individuals and want to support them and want to make the world a better place for them without trying to fit them into our neurotypical mold of how we see society today. So if you want to be part of a change, if you want to help support these adults and ensure that we really shift that balance, then that's the type of volunteer that we're looking for. Thank you. Good.